What's up, people? I'm George, and this is Marvelous Statues, the show where we get to unbox and review some of the coolest statues and collectibles known to man. And on today's episode, thanks to our friends at Connecticut, I'm getting a chance to take a look at an early prototype of Terry Bogard from the video game Fatal Fury. Or you guys may also know him from King of Fighters, but I know him from Fatal Fury. This thing looks impressive. Look at the size of this thing, man. So I'm going to review it and give you my initial thoughts on it. So stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. As I stated earlier, this is Terry Bogard, a statue done by Connecticut's. Now, Connecticut's is a company that I've come to know through Street Fighter pieces. That's how I became a fan of the company. They do these dynamic pieces that connect together, hence the name. So they have like a statue of Ken looking all bad and in you know very dynamic pose, and then it connects with Ryu and it has this fighting scene which looks and really awesome. Uh, they also have a bunch of other Street Fighter pieces. This is their first SNK piece. So this thing's awesome. I am a big fan of Terry Bogart, so I'm glad that they started out there. Uh, but this, unlike the other statues, is much bigger. The, this one here is a quarter scale. Uh, most of their other statues have always been six scale, I believe. So it's quite a big piece. There are other ones coming, which is going to be something that... I may have a little bit of concern with this because just the size. I mean, you can see how big this is right here. Uh, let me get some measuring tape out so you can see, you know, what the full length is. So I got the measuring tape. So this guy is almost 31 inches in length, it seems, from the back of this rock here all the way to the front of the rock up here. And then it has a height of 19 inches roughly at the, at the top of the flame and a depth of oh about 18 inches maybe it's not too deep and not too tall but it's long um now the other statues that they've come out with like i said are six scale and they don't take up quite as much space now once they're all together they do have quite a bit of length but this one here all on his own is pretty big so it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to make this connect with another statue that they come out with so that's one thing so one thing I want to show you guys here, this is how it is in complete, you know, like if you wanted to have it with the flames and what's cool is that the flames light up. So I'm going to show you guys that too. So it looks pretty awesome. I like the effect that it has. This is all clear resin. So it has a really nice uh, effect to it. Looks looks really neat. I like the, the idea that they did. So what's cool too is that this flame here, it comes off. So you see, it lifts up off of the base. So that's how you you put this down. It comes separated. At least that's how it came here with the prototype. Um, like I said, this is an early prototype, so there's probably going to go through some changes before you guys see it at the end. Uh, but overall, I think you, know, you see how this kind of fits in there, kind of a little bit wobbly. Yeah, a little bit wobbly, but you know, like I said, it's it's early, so we're gonna get to see. Yeah, this goes definitely goes in there as a key. Okay, so. Hopefully by the time it gets finished, you know, it won't be as wobbly. But, you know, obviously this isn't going to go anywhere once it's there. So it's really cool. He's doing his move and you can see this blast of flame coming out uh, from the ground, which looks really sick. Love the dynamic pose. Looks amazing. All right. So I just wanted to show you guys how that looked. And what's cool, though, you know, that I like is that, the, first of all, this doesn't have a battery. At least at this stage, it doesn't have a battery. This connects with a plug-in right here. Plug that into an outlet. And then, you know, you have power. I like that. I prefer that over the batteries because the batteries corrode and they tend to uh, get damaged if you don't use them quite that often. But cool. All right. So one thing I wanted to show you about this piece so we could talk about the statue himself is that this separates. So I love that because you can see that it's really long with this on it. And if you didn't want to display him with this big blast of flame and, you, you know, you were space conscious... You know, you could display them just like this. So let me get out the Lazy Susan and we can spin this guy around and talk about him. All right, so now that we have the flames moved out, I could, you know, completely spin this around and we could take a look at him at 360 degrees so you could see the way he looks from all angles. Now, the flames, I think, look fantastic. I think that's an awesome addition to this statue. But, you know, we don't all have that space to put that in there. You know, if it was me, I probably would not use that 
because of the the space size i would have to find a way to to lay that out completely and it would take up a lot you know of, of uh, real estate to take and display him that way but if you're a big fan of this guy i could see you using that it looks really cool they did a great job with the paint application on it and it has some really nice details with the whole light light up feature so i think that that's nice it would have been cool though if they would have had some way of making the lights flicker a little bit you know to give it the you know maybe the blast like maybe it radiate through you know but you know we'll see we'll see what happens at the end i think that, that's that's kind of cool all right so terry here and this is the statue as it sits without the flames i like it you know it's less space taken so now you know you're talking about only taking 19 20 inches of space you know so that's almost uh 10 inches of of uh of real estate back for you if you wanted to put a different statue there all right love the pose very dynamic has been smashing into the ground i feel like it has just as much power even without the flames i think they do a great job so the base is really cool like what they did with the whole cobblestone effect going on on the ground you know it makes it look really neat especially since he's punching the ground and then you can see them all uh flying up into the air i think that's done really well the paint application on the ground here so far looks really good i like that they have you know variations in color so you have some light grays dark grays you know some browns in there and everything so it gives it a nice effect i think the ground is done really cool as, as a nice character moving on to terry himself he's looking badass i think they did a great job with him i love the pose very dynamic has a lot of power behind it you know him punching the ground the way he's doing and the rocks blowing up like that i think that's done really well so all the details that they put into it look great you know, considering that we're going from an older video game, you know, all of the added detail they threw into it, the sneakers, I like, I like how they have these little texturing effect going on on the front of the sneaker. You know, you got tie laces and everything. The coloring on it looks well, has some kind of weathering effect to it. So it's not all just one color there. The jeans look really good. Love the texturing and the jeans all together. It looks like jean material, which looks really nice. And I like what they did with the folds. You know, I think that looks really cool, looks accurate. So I think that's done extremely well. You know, and they got even details like the pockets in the back and like the little buttons here where that holds. And then moving on into the belt, the belt has a leather appearance to it, even has the stitching in the belt, which looks cool. And then on the back of the belt, it says Fatal Fury, which I think that's kind of neat. So I think that, that's that's done pretty well. So the way this thing is assembled is the body, the, the, the torso, the, and the legs, and the feet are all one, right? The head and this hair is another piece. The arms are separate pieces in themselves, and the jacket is a separate piece in itself also. So it goes together very easily. You don't really need any instructions. It's done, you know, very well. They think it's assembled very well. So it wasn't hard to put together. All right. The skin tone in the arms here looks great. has a texture there, so it's not just a smooth appearance to it. And it has like a skin texture to it, so it looks good. The shading that they did in the skin looks really nice. I like how they have this green tone going on in the veins, which looks great, you know. And then all of the muscles look really good. It looks exaggerated, you know, just like what you'd expect to see from the video games of that era. So, you know, you have the triceps look ridiculously huge, you know. And then you can see where in the forearm, all of the detail there, you know, it just, it looks insane. You know, just like muscles upon muscles. It's very gorging and, and looks powerful. So I think they did, they did a cool job there. The fists here are done nice so the the gloves have again the leather appearance to it just like they did with the uh, belt which looks really good and then you know they just look like powerful fists so they did a great job there when you're assembling it you have to put the jacket on first and then you take and put the arm in here and then rest it down into the base because otherwise you won't be able to get it in but it goes down really nicely i think what would be cool even though it doesn't look like it, it doesn't really hit the bottom. So it doesn't really touch the bottom. So I don't think there's necessarily a reason to have it. But I think it would be kind of cool if they would take and put like a soft felt uh, padding down there. You know, that maybe is the same color as the rocks. So that when you rest it into place, you know, it doesn't scuff up any of the paint. So I think that would, that would be a cool addition. All right. The jacket looks really cool. I like the folds that they did with the jacket. You know, or the, this is not really a jacket, right? You call this, um, yeah, I'm going to call it a jacket. It's a jacket without without arms. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the, the texturing that they did there. It's different from uh, pants and everything. So it has kind of like a leather, leather appearance to it. The star looks accurate, just like what it looked like in the, in the uh, video game. And it looks nice. I like how they did the coloring. So it's not just all white. It's got like a bluish gray going on in there. 
which looks good and you know good folds there as well and then one of the cool things about the jacket being separate is that they can really get into the details here of the undershirt you know and paint that up really well you know and then the jacket sits on top of it and there's no reason to see any bleeding or anything so i think that was a smart move in doing that that looks cool the other arm looks just as impressive as the right arm you know you can see all of the gorging muscles like i said before so that looks really cool you know and then the portrait looks really awesome I think they did a good job with that. It is a little difficult to see because of the pose, though. So, you know, it's probably something that you may want to hang up on a higher shelf so that you can really catch his, his portrait. But I like the energy that they put into it. You know, he's yelling and he's, you know, putting down the, that uh, that move that he's doing, just really powerful, strong and everything. So it looks great. I like that you can see inside of his mouth. The teeth look really nicely detailed. and They did a nice job with the paint on the tongue. So it looks really cool. Now, now when I got the prototype, uh, again, this is uh, an early prototype. The hair here on the right side would, came broken. Uh, and it's still kind of loose there. So, you know, hopefully they find a way to make that a little bit more secure, you know, when they take and ship it. The styrofoam that it came in was not the best. I'll be honest with you. I have all kinds of little little styrofoam breakage because it was like, um, it, was, it was a hard foam, but it, it came apart. A little too easily as I was pulling the stuff out uh, so I got styrofoam everywhere I'm gonna be cleaning this up for a long time it's on the walls it's on the floor I mean that stuff is everywhere so hopefully by the time they actually go to ship this that they use a little bit better styrofoam than that you know so you know hopefully that that gets done but you know you can't knock that down for an early prototype I'm not gonna count that against this on this one so Really nicely done. Everything came, you know, secure other than this piece of hair that broke off. So it's very detailed and fine is the reason why I think you should, they should probably package it with maybe like some, some foam or something to protect the hair, you know, so that it doesn't move or anything like that. So that's just my two cents. You know, hopefully they, they, uh, they go about doing something like that. I think the hair is done really well. So it has a nice flow to the back. And then this piece, like I said, is separate. It's a magnet that sticks into the back of his head. So, you know, this is packaged separately, which keeps it secure. It looks really cool. And I like how it's flowing up like that. And then you got the Fatal Fury hat, which I love. It looks really cool. Nice texture work on the hat itself. And they did a really good job with texture work all the way through this thing. I mean, there's not, nothing on here that doesn't have at least a little bit of texture on it. Whether it be fine or a little more coarse, they did a good job there. The paint application overall for this prototype, I think it's done really well. I'm happy with that. So hopefully they take and they continue on with this for the actual final product that looks just like this you know hopefully it, it'll look like this if you guys get this it'll look great i think you guys will be happy with it overall i think it's a really cool piece you know it, it's uh for people who are into this video game who play this video game back in the 90s i think it is or the late 80s 90s i think at this point i'm getting old it's hard to remember uh i this is one of the other fighting games i played street fighter was my main game you know fatal fury was the next game that i would play those were the two fighting games that I was really into back then. So I remember dumping a lot of a lot of change at the arcades playing this guy. So it, it's, uh, it's a cool piece, man. I'm really, really excited that Connecticut sent it over to me for me to take a look at it and give you guys my two cents on it. But as far as I could tell with this one, you know, I think you really couldn't go wrong if it ends up like this. This thing looks really cool. And that is my thoughts of this early prototype of the Terry Bogard statue by Connecticut. I hope you guys found this fun and informative. You know, I hope if you guys were on the fence of getting this piece that this video some way helped you make a decision. You know, whether you want to get it or not get it. I think this thing is a pretty badass looking piece in my opinion. It's really detailed. If you're a fan of Terry Bogard, of Fatal Fury, or of, of King of Fighters, I think this is one of the most dynamic looking statues for that video game. I haven't seen another quarter scale made yet of this character, so... You know, this thing is dope. You know, that's all I can say. Um, you know, please leave me a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit subscribe and ding that bell to get notified to become part of the notification squad. And you will get notified as soon as we come out with another video. You can catch more of our videos at mcecentral.com as well as a wealth of information on collecting movies, video games, and all kinds of other geek stuff. It's because that's what we like talking about. We're going to be coming back at you with more videos just like this one. And stay tuned for all of that. Until next time, guys, keep it marvelous.